Today I will teach you three ways to create the teal and orange look in DaVinci Resolve and how you can combine them to make a professional cinematic look. For the first look, what you're gonna wanna do is add another node, name it LUT, then you're gonna right click on it, scroll down to LUT, then go to Film Looks and do Kodak 2383. And there's different versions of this, but this is like the main one. Now this is what most people do and this part is wrong. So you're not gonna wanna just put the LUT on just like this, you're gonna have to convert it first. So what you're gonna do, type 709 here, then you'll find a color space transform, drag it, drop it on, and you're gonna have to convert your camera's colors, mine's Rec 2020 and Fujifilm F-Log, and you'll have to convert it to 709 and Cineon Film Log. Now, as you can see, if you turn this on and off, the colors are more accurate with this footage than if we didn't have it. This is more of a bleach bypass where this is more correct, but you might be thinking, this is still really crunchy, really dark. And how you're gonna edit that is since the shadows are really crushed, you can bring up the shadows just here, just a little bit, bring down the highlights. And you can see that's already looking really good. It's a teal and orange look. You can obviously adjust the midpoint to make the footage look more correct. You can also up the saturation, bring this more teal up the saturation a little more and you can see you already have a nice teal and orange look and that's the first way to get the teal and orange look is with the Kodak 2383 LUT. The second way of doing this is very similar but instead of relying on a LUT you create the look yourself. So here we'll go to gamma 2.4 and as you can see everything we did before now looks like garbage. So you're going to delete that. We have the Rec 709 add a corrector node, add maybe like three nodes here. And now here what we're gonna do is called split toning it. And it's very similar to this LUT, but instead of just having this pre-made LUT, you're going to be making it yourself. So here we can drag this into a cooler area right here. And you can see now it's not as crushed like the LUT, but you still have this teal going on. And you can push warm into the highlights just slightly, then drag this down to teal even more. But you can see how the shadows, they're a little bit messed up. If you really push this, you'll see that the shadows become like all blue and stuff like that. And it can look really weird. So we're gonna really push this. So what we're gonna do, add another node, and I'll name this one split, and this one darks. Then you'll go to your log footage and you'll just pull this back up and you can see you're pushing more of the natural color into it. And you can see here, this is just correcting those shadows just a little bit. And you can do the same thing with the highlights. As you can see, just with a little bit of tweaking, we start getting an orange and teal kind of look. And that is the second way of making your own teal and orange look is by doing the split toning yourself. Now, I'll delete that. Let's say you don't want to do the split toning and you want kind of a more natural teal and orange look, kind of like how the scene is here. So the third way of doing this is balancing your footage to where you have some cool areas right here, but you still have the warm areas. So we're just gonna make those cool areas cool while keeping the warm areas warm. And this is just the balance. And for this third one, we want it to look more natural and maybe even like the set design itself was teal and orange on the day. So what you're gonna do is go to the hue versus hue. You're gonna go to your vector scope and you're gonna choose your reds you're gonna bring your reds more orange, then bring your yellows more orange as well. Don't mind having a little bit more red in it. Then for this, we're gonna bring our blues to the teals. We're gonna bring our teals to the blues. And you can see it a lot in these trees where if I turn this on and off, you can see those greens are becoming more orange and those yellows are becoming more orange. And you can even bring the greens up to be even more orange to give it like a fall kind of look. The reds, we can push to orange too, or we can push them cooler. And you can see now this is looking more teal and orange. And again, since this is low saturation, if you bring up the saturation, 
you will really see this. And this is one of my favorite ways of creating the teal and orange look because it really makes it pop and stand out from each other. This isn't even the end of it because what you can do with this is you can combine it with the other ways of creating the teal and orange look to make it exactly the way you want. So this is the saturation, this is the hue. So this is the hue off, this is the hue on. You can see it makes a huge difference. The saturation also makes a huge difference. And instead, if you don't wanna saturate it like this, you can actually saturate it in the hue. Go to these and bring up the teals, bring up these oranges. And you can see now we're really bringing out those teal and orange looks. And maybe I wanna get some reds in there, so I'm gonna bring this here, bring the yellow here. And that's how to make it teal and orange with the hue. Now we can combine all this knowledge to create the best teal and orange look. So what I can do, turn on this LUT, you can see it looks terrible. That's because we need to fix it with Cine and Filmlog here. Then bam, you see that? That's very, very saturated. So we could probably add a sat node to turn this down. Then you can see it's very, very crushed too. So we can actually bring up the shadows like we did before, then bring down the highlights. And you can bring down the midtones. Up the shadows, down the midtones, bring down the saturation for the hue. Now you can tell this is very, very saturated, but this is kind of getting that orange and teal Hollywood vibe. Now we mix two of them so far and we can even push this further by going even more teal, then more orange in the highlights. And you can see that split toning just really brings out that kind of like warmish orange kind of look. You can correct for the shadows. And for the outer banking, I'm going to put 2.39 to really give it that Hollywood kind of look and aesthetic. Now what you can do is grab a still of this and transfer it onto other videos that you've captured. And you can see this really gives it a nice orange and teal look. Just bring that down. Now that you know three ways to create the teal and orange look, watch this video here on how to make a cinematic film look.